internet auntie auntie red here again with another video if this is the first time you are gracing us with your presence hello welcome settle in this one's going to be a good one so get your wine get your coffee get your tea get a snack settle in if you are returning hello welcome back make sure you comment down below and say hello so i know that you're back here again and i can say hi back i love answering comments um and responding to you guys in the comment section so make sure you do that so today guys i have a little treat a little treat for you and hopefully this will be like a little bit of a sequence right so first sequence is I'm going to be showing my collection Louis Vuitton collection only I didn't want to include everything because I didn't want it to be overwhelming and a super super long video so just going to show Louis Vuitton SLGs and handbags that's it for this time round. and then I want to do a wish list for Louis Vuitton and then at the end of the year we'll look at it back and say mm, okay did we do good how did we do what does the collection look like now have we refined it do we get all the pieces on the wish list or did we not did we stray straying is a possibility so did we stray <laughs> but we'll see how we do right so all right so i'm gonna get right into it because like i said i don't want it to be super duper long and I'm, i have a lot of uh slgs and a lot of different yeah a lot of different stuff here so <laughs> i'll change the angle of the camera so you can get a better look at it and we'll go right into each one so here we go bye <laughs> hi guys okay so starting with the SLGs first we're going to try going to try to do the SLGs so starting off I have my uh, key pouch or clay pochette I guess um, so in the Damier bean um, I got this last year I use it to store my uh, car keys garage key and just some coins and little knickknacks in there and this is one of my like top slgs you'll see it in a video i will put in the i card um where i um put this as one of my top slgs then we're going to go into key holders so i currently have three key holders in my collection so i have this one which is the damier graphite and this is the one that i'm currently using and i keep my um house keys as well as at least one credit card and like a metro card in here i also have uh the damier ibin one which i got last year I keep that in here I have not used this one yet I am saving it for when the world opens up <laughs> no holding on to that one guys for uh, I don't know just to switch it out but yeah for so far this one has been good and it's uh, wearing w much better and I'll show you what I mean by wearing but it's wearing much better than um, the other one that I was using um, but this one is like for you know just in case or backup I just really wanted to have this in a dummy AB um, and then this is my monogram um i don't know if you guys can see it i'll try to get in close but it is like absolutely ratchet so this is what happens to the uh little button here that little coated leather button it gets completely worn off um you know the the glazing here is very very thin almost practically gone um it's starting to curl up there i mean this is like you know this one got like well loved like well used up um all in here is stained and it's just i mean a hot hot mess it has like a lot of wear um happening um on this one so i need to take this in to the boutique to see if there's anything that they can do to revive it and maybe you know uh, refresh the glazing and um and replace that button so i was trying to get that done at the top of a lockdown last year in march but unfortunately i was not successful and getting it off um my boutique 
closed and then they weren't doing repairs and and you know all of that so um so i haven't sent it off yet but this is like basically <laughs> just to give you an idea of the wear and tear guys like before and after here you know like this would be the before and this is the after and this is the potential of what it has to look like if you don't i guess look after it or if you use it quite often it um yeah it gets really worn out so that is uh these are my six ring key holders and i have uh all prints right now except for the uh azor that would probably be the next one that i would get okay. the next thing that i have is my uh card holder this doubles as my wallet so i basically just keep like all my cards i don't normally carry too much um cash so i keep all of my cards in here um this has been holding up pretty well i've had this about two years um and the glazing on this looks absolutely great it's still nice and thick um not too much curling or anything happening um and i do use this you know basically every day uh i have this with me so it's been holding up really really well next up is my uh round coin purse this is the traditional one or the original one i guess they have uh I think I believe they have discontinued this one. Now they have the uh, one that comes on the multi pochette uh, SSR SSR um, bag. So I have that one as well. I'll show you that one in a little bit. But this is the original one, and I usually use this as a tech wallet. So it usually houses all of my cords or any type of charges that I have for any devices that I'm carrying. And uh, I usually carry this with me all the time. This is one of my top SLGs and I love it. My Etoy Lunette. This is my Sunny's Click case. Um, I did get this one pre-loved. I got this now. I think we're going on. Uh, this is year. I think I've had it for about a year now. The glazing on this one still, again, looks pristine as well. It's still nice and tight. Like it's not... Um, uh, like worn out or anything like as far as that goes um just trying to maybe be a little bit careful with the opening and being uh just watching out for any glazing issues but absolutely love this it is you know been like a clutch item again goes with me all the time i absolutely love this and adore it uh, next up would be my cosmetic uh, PM in the cosmetic case um, in the monogram this is also a new piece I believe I got this in uh, for my birthday uh, last year in September I will link the video for this one up in the iCards as well so you can see when I unboxed it absolutely love this I use it if I have like overnight trips like I had some overnight trips that I had um, recently and i just put a little bit of bits in here like travel like you know cleansers and so on uh in here absolutely love this it still looks really good it's holding up really nicely i wanted to try to change it into a purse i've seen some youtubers do that where they can get these the rings on amazon and put in here and make it into a little purse just wanted to try it don't know if i would actually carry it like that but it would be cute to to try it out but yeah i absolutely love this nothing bad to say about it it's a great piece moving on to my pochette collection so this is my uh, mini pushet. This is the only mini pushet that I have in my collection. It is the Damier Bin one. This one is ancient. I've had it for like <laughs> it's not ancient, but I've had it for like five years or so, or six years, something like that. It's it's pretty old. Um, it's pretty stiff. I would love to uh, get another one in my collection because this one is a bit. I feel like a bit worn and a bit beaten up, and it's the canvas, so I'm not sure if any um anything could really be done to kind of refresh it or make it um any better i mean i can probably change out some of the you know the hardware and so on but the actual canvas itself has some rubbing and so on but i love it it's still a great piece i use this as a catch-all in my bag to cat you know to carry like lip products and so on you know everything like that the zipper is still super smooth um you know still a great piece but it is a little bit <laughs> worn it's a little bit loved <laughs> so but yeah my mini pochette in Damien. All right, so keeping with the pochettes, moving on to my pochette accessoire collection. So I do have all three. Um, so that would be the monogram one. Okay, and then I have the Damier Ibin. And then I also have the Damier Azure. Um, so yeah, these I've had in my collection for quite some time. Um, this one actually has a, a strap on it because I was using it. So, but yeah, absolutely love these. I've used these for everything. Um, they can be travel bags, cosmetic bags, 
uh, you know, they can hold diapers. They're just the perfect size to hold diapers and maybe some extra like wipes or something like that in there and like a diaper cream. Um, they're great for cosmetics. They're great for school. They're great for, I mean, you know, if you're a couponer, you can put coupons in them. Like they're really, they're really just like clutch pieces, like absolutely gorgeous, fantastic. They can be purses. They're just amazing. I love these. So, and I do have these three in my collection. I absolutely love this it. This is my Etui Voyage. Um, and this is uh, like, um, well, I use it for my laptop. I put my MacBook Air in here. It's the perfect size for my MacBook Air and for um, the charging cord, the charging cable and so on in here. Um, but people have used these like for document holder to hold, you know, um, you know, different your, your, what do you call it? Your iPads and so on. I mean, it's really up to you, but I absolutely love it. It's a classic piece, super thin, super nice. I mean, so much I can do with it. It was a regret for me initially, but I have like come to absolutely adore and love this. And yeah, I love this piece of my collection. And that's it. Bag I'm going to show you just because I have it here and I'll just show you this one. So this is my... I hope it's all in frame. This is my um, Delightful. So this is my Louis Vuitton Delightful in the GM size. This bag has since now, it, it is discontinued. So this is not um, currently a bag that you can get on website or in shop. You would have to get it pre-loved. Um, sorry, it's a little wrinkled. It was not stuffed. It was laying folded in a bag. So that's why. This one is a piece that I am in the process. Well, I want to take in. Um, I just haven't gone to my regular boutique to do it, but I do want to take it in and have all the leather redone. So get the leather tassels redone, the leather strap redone. All of this would be redone. So perhaps that's something that I would um, film and show you guys on the channel. So you get an, um, you get to see that experience, but they would fix like all this, like all of this, the glazing is completely gone. Um, so yeah, so get this all redone. But this bag is excellent, like a hobo kind of shape, short strap. It reminds me of the, I believe the Graceful is the updated version of this bag. So, but this is the Delightful GM and I, I'm obsessed. I love this bag. We just need to, we need to get it re, it needs a little refresh, but then other, otherwise it'll be perfect. Next up would be my pochette accessoire, multi pochette accessoire. Uh, I don't know, I guess this is a bag, but it's, to me, it's like just a whole bunch of SLGs just rammed up together, but, but it is considered a purse. So it's not considered just like SLGs, but um, I do have this. I got this as well for my birthday. Absolutely love it. If there's actually something in it, because I think I was using this as well. So there are things in, yeah, there are things in there as well right now, um, but love this. No complaints. Absolutely adore it. I have the khaki strap as well as the pink, which you already saw on the other pochette accessoire but absolutely love these no complaints fantastic piece in my collection we love these okay and next up would be my bum bag absolutely love this piece got this uh last year as well really uh a great addition to the collection i use this so often it is currently stuffed um, I mean, this bag has really been, you know, a champion <laughs> in my collection. I didn't realize how much I would actually like it and enjoy it and, and like wear it. It's super useful. I think it is aging quite well. It's, I did spray this too, guys, with Apple Guard, um, but I absolutely love this piece. I think it's just, yeah, it's just doing great. Next love one it. in the collection would be, ta-da! This is my uh, Neo Noé in Noir with the black uh, handles, black strap. So I should bring this forward because this black strap didn't come with it. So it's this one. This black strap did not come with it, but I keep it on here because I love it. And I, I think this is really great. Maybe I should raise that up a little bit. There we go. Um, I absolutely love this little handle. I got this from Amazon. It did not come with it, but I think it's just really elevates the use of the bag. Um, but yeah, this is the black strap that actually came with it. Absolutely love this piece. Uh, nothing bad to say about it. This is the Neo Noé in black. And this is the Alma BB in Damier Ibin. Also got this last year as a birthday present. Absolutely adore this. Such a cute piece, such a great addition to the collection. 
nothing bad to say about this love it as a top handle love it as a crossbody haven't had a chance to wear it out too too much yet but cannot wait to really be able to take this out and enjoy it also have some videos that i will link in the eye cards for you that just highlight this beauty and some of the, the the unboxing i did for it and a comparison video that i did recently um comparing this to my pollen numero un nano so i will put that in the eye cards but absolutely love this this is the uh speedy 30 in damier Ibin. this is without the strap so without the bandolier if it had the bandolier it would have the strap here and then a longer strap the little locks would be here to attach to it um so this is without that absolutely love this such a great piece no complaints this is the newer model of the speedy so it has the puff chaps here and the leather is not as shiny and it is um the gold accents are a bit more dull and not as gold shiny so but absolutely adore my speedy 30 in damier b keeping with the speedy family this is my speedy 30 this one is with the bandolier and in the damier azure this is one of my trifecta pieces. Absolutely adore a Speedy. I mean, oh gosh, how can you not? Like, how can you go wrong with this beautiful piece? Absolutely love this. So Speedy 30 Bandolier in Damier Azure. Nothing bad to say about that. And then of course, keeping with the Speedy family, just gonna round it out, round out the trifecta. And then we go into the Speedy 35 in the Bandolier with uh the monogram print all over adore nothing but amazing things like seriously and this bag is aging so well and i bought this one as like a workhorse bag like i bought this to kind of like abuse it like bought this one pre-loved it had already had a patina to it and i just wanted something that i could like you know just dash around i can use it as like a gym bag i could use it as a work bag big enough to hold my my laptop big enough to just you know throw all types of bits in it and didn't really care i did spray it with apple guard but i was kind of like okay with it because getting a little bit beat up but I honestly feel like it's holding up quite quite well um, and this is an older um, one of the older styles so the chaps are flat in comparison to the other speedy uh, speedy 30 that I showed you um, so that's one of the ways you can tell this is an older older dated model but absolutely love this so these are the pochette matisse my two pochette matisse in my collection I absolutely love these this one is the Pochette Matisse Marine Rouge. Oh, child, yes, I tried it. <laughs> the navy and red in the Pochette Matisse in the Empreinte print. Um, and this is uh, my Pochette Matisse in the monogram uh, print. I did get this one first, but I did buy this one pre-loved. So, but this one I got from the store is brand new. So I think they're both aging really, really well um haven't pulled these out recently to be honest with you i haven't gravitated too too much towards my pochette matisse um but that does not mean that they are not you know like fan favorite you know this is definitely um two of my favorite pieces they're not going anywhere they're forever pieces for me i am contemplating adding to my pochette matisse collection so more to come on that uh in my wish list video but absolutely adore adore uh yeah adore these pochette matisse to so bring home the big ones the big guys the big dogs that would be my louis vuitton uh never full gm in monogram with the yellow interior which we love that looks so fantastic with the yellow interior then we have the louis vuitton Never Fall GM Damier Ibing with a red interior. Love that. Okay, don't fall. Hard to show these. <laughs> and then we have the Damier Azure with the rose ballerine interior. There we go. Obsessed. Obviously, love a Neverfall. I mean, seriously, can't go wrong with the Neverfall. 
GM size is my jam. It fits my size, my body and my shape the best. Absolutely nothing but amazing things to say about this piece. Uh, yeah, I have to back up a little bit so we can see them better. So this is the monogram. Damier Ibin. Oops, all crinkly here. And Damier Azor. These are harder to show guys, but without them looking all crinkled and flopping all over the place. <laughs> there we go. All right, almost done. The next two pieces I consider to be more like, I guess my travel pieces, or I use them a lot for travel or like day trips and so on. Um, and that would be my Monserie backpack in the GM size. This is a vintage piece. I did get all of the leather redone on this piece a couple of years back when I first purchased this it did not look like this if I can find old pictures of what it looked like I'll insert them so you can see what it looked like before but I had all of the leather redone all of this all of the leather all the trimming the bottom all of this redone and have not regretted it ever since it was like fantastic to get this redone it just brought this bag back to life for me and I absolutely adore it. So this is the GM size. Okay. And the final piece, which is more like I said, one of my travel pieces, this would be my Louis Vuitton Keep All in the 50 size in the bandolier. Absolutely adore this piece as well. I take it when I travel. This along with the backpack, obsessed. My travel pieces that I carry like on the plane, like your carry-on, obsessed. Sorry for the creasing, it was folded down in storage. But usually when, when I um, use it and it's stuffed, the, all of the folding marks come out of it so you don't see the creasing like that. Love it. That's it for me, guys. That was a lot. <laughs> it was it was a little bit more difficult than I thought trying to get the camera angles right and just, you know, getting everything set up. So here I am on the floor. This is kind of where I've ended up. So <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by nieces, nephews, fellow aunties for another one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, put on a notification bell, all of that um, so that you can catch another one another time. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Hope to see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.